Hi, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. So in the last video that we were cleaning out the bathroom, we cleaned this side uh, pretty much out. I just gotta get the back of that uh, of the toilet. That's not bad, that's easy. And yeah, I got a coffee maker right there. Yep, coffee maker in the third bathroom that hasn't been used in three years. Yeah, but that's okay. All right, continue the cleaning. Let's get on this side. And right here is the, um, yep, the K cup holder that was goes to, I guess, the coffee maker. Okay, sure. And empty bag. <laughs> Toss. And I know exactly what this is. Okay. Oh my gosh. So I bought this for my kids for last Christmas around this time when the Hallmark ornaments came out. And I couldn't find it. I couldn't find where I put it. It was lost, so I couldn't hang it on the tree for last year. Here it is. We can hang it up on the tree this year. <laughs> and let's see, we have an empty box. No toy in there. Tossy, tossy. The instructions to the empty toy box. Trash. Uh, a bag, a cute little bag for, um, you know, one of those recycle wheel bags. So. We can take that to the sharing table. Well, maybe I'll wipe it down. I should wipe it down, that would be good. Let's go over here, actually. Um, I know here's some craft things I was looking for. So I made Christmas wreaths last year and I used this rib, I made bows out of this ribbon. Isn't that really pretty too? And I just don't have, I need to have an area where I keep all my ribbons instead of just randomly squirreled away. You know, so if I want to make bows again or use that ribbon again for this Christmas, I don't have to go buy it because I have it and I'll have it in an actual spot. Look how cute that is. So this I bought at Hobby Lobby with the intention of hanging up in my laundry room. The laundry room, that's the second most hoarded room. Right over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't get to the walls. So unfortunately, that gets put on pause before I can hang it up because I got to get in that laundry room. Here's another craft. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's something that I'm going to stop doing. Isn't this beautiful? This is lamb's ear that I bought at Hobby Lobby. I when, uh, It was in springtime when I was getting, when I was just randomly shopping. <laughs> I saw this and was like, oh, I have an idea for a craft and I'm going to make it. I gotta stop doing that because I do that all the time. I'll randomly see something in the craft store and be like, oh, I wanna make this out of this. And I never commit to the craft. I never make it, all right? I forget about it. So from now on, when I go to the craft store, I'm only gonna buy if I can actually complete it. Like if, maybe if I have an idea, right? If I have an idea for the that I saw on Pinterest, I'll just go get exactly the supplies I need, make the craft, finish the craft, and not have random things. I mean, I could still make something beautiful with this. I mean, it, it's lamb's ear, it's gorgeous, but I bought it in spring. It's been sitting here for, I don't know, what? It's October now, six months. I never, I should commit to actually making the project. All right, so random box. What's in random box? Hello, random box. What do we have in here? Um, okay, so this was from a previous Christmas. We obviously hung this up. Uh, looks like the intention might've been to save this. Um, but I can't. I'm going to toss that. We can make new ones. That's the whole fun part of it, right? Plastic bag. Toss it, toss it. Uh, oh gosh. Okay, so this looks like I bought at a yard sale with the intention for the kids to play with it. Maybe I should give it forward because I think I've had this for a very long time. And I do have food. All right, what do I have? A... Christmas bag, well, Christmas is coming up, right? A Christmas bag, so let's see, and a, okay, I, this is a really pretty ribbon and the hoarder in me is like, I'm gonna use this to make something beautiful, but it's already crinkled. Um, see, as a hoarder, this is where I struggle. I would wanna make something out of this. I can see the potential in this very simple, piece of ribbon that I can make it into something beautiful. Therefore, this now has a value that I added to it. I need to be strong and just kind of tossy tossy it. It's okay, I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> All right, let's see. 
a book all. Okay, so that's a book. So I can donate this to the church because obviously I haven't read. Have I read this? I don't know if I have or not. Um, but I'm going to donate it to the church. And this is, okay, this is a pretty cool book. Um, I could put in my son's room. And then what else do we have? And then, oh my gosh, create your own gift card things. <sighs> See, here's what I want to, I don't know. Should I save this for Christmas and let the kids actually do something? Or should, um, yard sale, or should I just donate it? Um, if you can, leave a comment below. What do you think I should do? Just save it again for the kids to, to work on this Christmas? Or do I just donate it and call it a day? <laughs> um, let's see. And okay, now we have an empty box so I can get this box out of here. And all right, I'm going to go ahead and start putting things away. And um, uh, I'll uh, continue on chopping at this room. All right, let's keep going. So, towel. There's a towel. Okay, let's, uh, very old, old, old towel. I think we can, uh, retire that towel. And I don't know why I have this in here. Okay, so more paper trash. More paper trash. Looks like I bought uh, Christmas stuff from last year. More trash. Uh, oh, this was supposed to be a height chart for my other son that never used. Baby clothes. Oh my gosh. Baby clothes. <laughs> Baby clothes. So, uh, yeah. So I think it's time to wash the baby clothes. And, uh, wait, this is, what is this? Oh, shorts. <laughs> shorts that don't fit me, but cute shorts, but shorts. <laughs> More baby clothes. And let's see. Um, empty bag. All right. Moving this along all right so right up here is one of those it's for a baby it's like one of those fisher price rock and sleep um things i think they're called yep uh, i'm not pregnant i don't have a baby i wouldn't mind being pregnant but i don't have a baby <laughs> um okay i know what this is for uh i want to do it in a second okay so okay so that's one of those aqua doodle things okay okay <laughs> Uh, shirts, random shirts. All right, don't belong in here. Random lint that must have gone to some container I had. Uh, oh my gosh, do you know how old this is? This is so old. Oh my gosh, so we're gonna get rid of that. And uh, a math book, a math reference book. Okay, so we can get rid of this. I feel, I feel good getting rid of that. They're in school. And then right here we have, okay, so this is something that I want to show that's near and dear to my heart. So here's a car. Here are a bag of looks like brand new things. Yeah, some of this is brand new things that I like to use for, um, okay, so I love Operation Christmas Child. It's a, a project. I can actually, you know what, I'll, I'll put a link in the description below. So every Christmas we like to do the Operation Christmas Child, which as I get up, is what this big old box of toys is that's on top of the sink is for. So throughout the year, there'll be brand new toys and I'll just kind of put it in this little box that I save every year. And in November, we do a packing party where they pack brand new toys and toothbrush and toothpaste and washcloths and books. And they send it overseas uh, to third world, uh, child, or third world country. So children who don't have anything get to have something you know, um, special, and they really look forward to the little treasures that they get. So um, that's near and dear to my heart, and it's called Operation Christmas Child. So that's what this big eh, big box is. That's what the newer stuff in this is. So um, I'm going to uh, get this box out of here. That's next month, so that'll be good. This box will actually be out. Um, will be all that stuff. I'm going to donate it to it. And I'm going to finish up cleaning it out. It's pretty much cleaned out. I got the floor pretty clean over there. It just needs to be wiped down very good. And uh, yeah, we're almost done. Guess who has a completely clean third room in her house? It's me. <laughs> Yay. So this room is now cleaned off. I did like a very light kind of cleaning. I didn't go like crazy with any kind of cleaning because the toilet doesn't work. <laughs> so the water's been shut off to it, but it's clean. Like, oh my God, there's the floor. 
I have yet another, yet another third clean room in my house. So woohoo, like I am on a roll. So I am just so excited now to have three. And I've kept up with the other two bathrooms as well. This was my last little half bath. And I kept up with the other two bathrooms. I have kept them. It's a lot easier when you don't have a bunch of stuff and you just have to wipe it down and put things back. So I am so excited. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Bye.